Today is a very special day because today is the beginning of our journey to create our own tomahawk. Mm. My name is Julia. Hey, Julia. I'm kind of learning about dry aging. I don't know how to dry age. I gotta do a bunch of research. I'm gonna figure it out and, and maybe get some help along the way. I found this video on the internet. I see this giant piece of meat and this girl is like grabbing and swaying it around in the camera and I'm like, oh my goodness, do I want that? Yes, I do. I want to buy it dry aged already, but then that's like losing the whole learning process about it. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the one I would pick. This is a gift to myself. I wonder how much it is at the restaurant if you were to order it. Probably like three times as much, maybe. So a tomahawk is a ribeye, essentially, with a very large bone that was not butchered off. I'm gonna end up butchering this, aren't I? <laughs> It's a nice bone, huh? Can I do a yabadab voodoo moment? Yeah, go ahead. Really? You'll let me do that? If you, of course. You, if you, you have a big bone in your hand. No! No! Is that what that meant? No. What? I didn't know. Alright, so now we're gonna dry age one for five days. I'm sure it's gonna taste more tender. Today happens to be a Friday. I could keep this going if it was a Tuesday, and then we could go get some tacos. Tomahawk number two, this is the bigger one. It's going to be dry age, which is going to make the flavor better over time. I was supposed to be getting my little dry age fridge in the mail. Sorry, this isn't gonna come in the mail to you for a month. I don't have that type of time. I called up the butcher and I said, hey, is it okay if I use your dry age fridge? We're back at the meat house. Uh, my fridge didn't arrive, and JP's helping me. I'm helping. It oh, seems yeah. like you guys don't yeah, use cheesecloth. Yeah. Do you think I shouldn't be using it? It's preference. Yeah. Some people do, some people don't. That's my baby. Guys, you see that? That's the mold forming on top. We're gonna see something like that in 30 to 45 days here. Mind you, I do wanna figure out how to do all this stuff at home also. So I'm actually gonna buy a couple of more ribeyes from you because I'm gonna try to dry age in my fridge at home too and just compare it. And I already ate the other tomahawk, it was delicious. <laughs> all right guys, this video is not dedicated to the vegetarians out there, but. The only vegetarian thing here is the actual cow that this came from. That's beautiful. There it is. Yes, I will take one. We love you guys. You're our local butcher. Oh, if it was black, I'd be going to a funeral, but no, it's my wedding. I do. On the internet, some people like to put sea salt underneath the rack here because it ages it differently, adds different flavors. And if it's any colder or hotter than 40 degrees, that's, uh, I guess, not right. All right, you beautiful bastard. Lots of things happened in these 21 days in between things. We, we ate the entire menu at Five Guys. We pancakes, deep fried pancakes. We have been cooking up a storm, video after video on YouTube. We're making Fruit Loop donuts on this channel because it came out and now we are ready to go get our meat from the meat fridge at the butcher. Finally, I can put on my chef jacket and actually feel chefy. Let's go. All right, we're back in the meat house and it just started the rain. We're gonna learn what to do after your steak has been dry aging. The butcher's gonna help us. Here it is, the local butcher and market, right here in Winter Park. I don't think I would have been able to do it without them. Oh, oh no. Shut the door. I'm shutting it. Oh, my keys fell. Oh my God. We're just getting soaked out here. Let's go in. Let's go in. The lens cap is wet. Yeah. Oh no. You want to go in? You want to this? At this point in time, because all of this here that you're seeing, this surface area, is all bacteria, so that all needs to go. We don't want to get food poisoning. We should take all of his advice right now. 
So an incredibly sharp knife is being used here. And I don't know if my knives at home are that sharp. Oh yeah, that's nice. So anything that's like that black color we're cutting off. Absolutely. I mean, it's literally dry aged, so almost no moisture left in the meat at all. So look how much meat has been cut off of this now. It's about half the weight, but that's okay because the flavors are elevated. I wanna cook this exactly how you would at home. So how would you season it? What's the temp when you're pan searing it? Do you stick it in the oven to finish it off? As far as seasoning, salt and pepper. That's all you need. I would give it a, a quick sear in a hot cast iron skillet in the oven at 350. You wanna taste the flavor of the beef. Right. We're heading back to the kitchen, thanks again. Anytime. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. There's your tomahawk in the back seat. You didn't buckle it up, Julia. Safety first. That tomahawk is our baby, but our baby is old enough to sit in the back seat without a seatbelt on. We're going home. Oh my goodness. It's looking aged. Whoa. I don't even know. Ugh. This is really tough. Butchers have real strong forearms, I think. Doing that? I'm trying. <laughs> I just want to get all the black goo off. Sure you don't need help with this? I got this. Careful. So what do you think? Did that look like a dry aged pretty Yeah. Look at this side. Wow. Yeah. Good luck. If this guy was one of those things from Despicable Me, I'd call him a filet minion. <laughs> No, I gotta do this. I can do this. My knives will be sharp enough, right? We're good. I thought it was a bone. I got this. The struggle is real. I think that I killed it. A professional and then a Julia Goo. Ugh. You're almost there. You just make sure you pick all the dark spots. All this is going off. That's what he said. Better? Yes? Hey, um, you know what? I think you're good to go. Well, thank you for your time and your energy on this. I can't wait to work with you again. There you have it. The butcher versus the amateur. <laughs> but how does it taste? Let's cook these. Let's cook them! It's a good sound. The bacteria is cut off. It is butcher approved. We're okay to cook this and eat this. The one that looks like crap is mine. <laughs> it makes louder noises for the father. Unfortunately, this is not getting hot enough. We're going back to where we started. That's the sound we want. It's smoking! It's smoking! The smoke alarms are working! Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> this looks beautiful. And then, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, this is what happened. Julia, don't let yourself down. I'm gonna be taking some butcher classes here soon. Yes. You actually cooked the butcher. That's what you did. It's got like a little fat. <laughs> Should you do this at home? Should you just rely on the butcher? That's probably the best option. What the girl looked like on Tinder, what the girl looked like in real life. <laughs> That's a catfish right there. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm in heaven actually. <laughs> this is so tasty. Oh! One of the steaks was made by a professional butcher, right? Yeah. And then the other one, Julia just forgot about in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put your hand up and grab this stick. Easier than I thought. The outside definitely. The crust, nice. the crust kills it. Like that crust was really nice. It had like some seasonings on it. You had a good crunch on the outside. The inside was soft. It's it's what's on the outside that matters anyway, guys. Yeah, I was a lot happier before. It was chewier. It was so chewy. Like it's really sorry, like bitter. Like a nice gas station. Like if I went to a gas station, order a steak. I'm like disappointed. <laughs> It, I mean, they were kind of critical about it. I didn't think it was that bad, personally, but Julia... Well, in comparison, like, if you really stack these two head-to-head, -head, there was a big difference. Oh, yeah. It. Is this, like, our blind date right now? Since we... Yeah. It's the first time meeting each other? I get it. 
<laughs> good job, Chris. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. It's juicy. It's got a really good flavor to it. I've never had dry steak. Like, That's a good quality flavor. Mm -hmm. You can tell. It's a good cut. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, number two now. Flavor. Just tell me when I got some more meat coming towards my face. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh. Definitely a little chewier to the taste. These are both steaks this time. This isn't a double switcheroo, is it now? The first one set the bar so high. With yeah, the, no, it just the crispy have the texture same. and the smoky flavor. And... Oh my god, please make sure this is meat. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just take it. Mmm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yo, someone just Mr. Rogered my mouth right there. <laughs> <laughs> No, for real, Julia, if that was the one that you made, it was absolutely delicious. But I have a feeling it wasn't the one you made. <laughs> Can you just... There you go. Tastes like a thick piece of beef carpaccio. <laughs> tastes like Julia's steak knife. Mm. It almost tastes like if, if Arby's decided to not flavor their roast beef. <laughs> it tastes like rope. Okay, okay. I get it, everybody here. I'm it. kidding, it wasn't I that bad. I worked so hard on this. Julia, yours wasn't and, and it's fine. Did people eat the rest of your steak? Is that the yeah. hers? No. <laughs> it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that bad though, like for real. It was like a tough tuna poke. Thank you for dinner. This looks amazing, it's amazing. We have your starches, your protein, your veggies. What else can you need? See, you guys didn't need the pizza. JP's ordering you pizza though, so pizza is for your second course. You don't need to do that. That is not necessary. All right, we're, we're about to feed Adrian. After all those videos you guys seen where we kind of screw him at the last minute, this is, we're making up for it. He's not here? He left? Is Adrian here? Oh, are you serious? Oh no. Oh no. That's why we were doing this. Oh no. We, we kind of teased you again. Oh. Um, so it's, I actually feel pretty bad because we're actually not feeding this to you today. 